Greetings. Uh, this video is going to be all about using progress checks. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about what exactly a progress check is, um, how it works, some of its possible uses. Then I'll show you how to make one, and uh, and then we'll kind of maybe show you some kind of troubleshooting things and bits and bobs with it. Um, but it's all about progress checks. Okay, so this page is a a progress check, and it, uh, it's one I've been using with my. Um, six form this this term and essentially what it does is it gives you little tick boxes which you which the users and users can be staff members as well as students um, or even parents um, and it it's a tick box that they that will remember what they've ticked and the user can come back to this page again and again and can update and change what they've ticked and not ticked. Um, so for example, let's say this list of top list of five was something I was working through and I wanted to give my teacher updates uh, what I'd done. So I'm gonna tick the first three and then I haven't done the fourth one and I've done the fourth one and then I've got a save button and I press the save button and it's gonna remember that. So if I now refresh this page or go away and come back to it, it remembers what I've done as the user. Now let's change that. So I'm now gonna add on this one, remove that one and add that one on for just for argument's sake. And I'm gonna press save again and it's it's remembered it here and if i if i if i just go off that page i'm going to go but go to my planner and then i'm going to go back to that page and it's still there it's remembered me it knows me and it knows what i've ticked um so for example this could be a revision checklist so four modules which were all the topics working way through da, 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 what have i revised um teacher can then see what i've done and what i haven't done um this could be a progress list of uh, a, a bit of coursework have you planned it have you done your research how your, your epq checklist or something like that and um, this could also be just a single box so it could be something in staff training it could be something like um uh read the bit at the top because this is a firefly page so it doesn't doesn't have to be check boxes you can put images and text and all sorts so you could have something to read and then a tick box that says tick this to say that you've read it and then you tick that and you hit save to say that you've done it and then you know you've done it and everyone else has done it. You could even do it in sections. So it could be read this, tick this, read this, tick this to show that you've done it. Those would also work um, and it would remember it each time. What does it look like from the, uh, the, the kind of the administrator's perspective? You click on this button here that says display report and you then have to say which users do you want to see. So for example, you could use the same page with multiple classes, multiple year groups. So you have to say which year group you actually want to look at. Um, so I'm going to look at my uh, year 13 uh, politics class. So make sure you forget the actual set itself rather than the appearance of the set, otherwise you'll get very confused. I know I was. And you click on the list and it should then load it up. You'll get the list of students down the side where I'm just kind of standing here. And then you can see all the ticks here, which allows you to then to see all the things at the top, which is like, the list that you have and then you can see all the different ticks now this is actually now a huge page if this was just let's say two or three things it would be very easy to read be very very clear and you'd get the information quickly this page is now a lot bigger um, and I'll, 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 I'll explain why in a minute but it, you can see it all and you can see where the ticks are where the say for example the gaps are what a person has or has not done and you can also then um, export this there's a button here that says export summary to CSV you can export it to Excel and use the information there or even kind of make it bigger and blow it up if you want to get the information um, there. So that's what it looks like from a user's perspective. So it's very easy for you to see where the ticks are and where the gaps are. And of course, the students can keep coming back. So the students can keep updating this every week and then you can check it you know, every kind of fortnight or, or, or so. Now you can also add to it. So the reason why my one is so big is because this was week one. This was all the work they had done or not done in week one. This was all the work they had then undone or not done in week two. So what I did was I clicked edit page and I added the next load on and then I added the next load on and I added the next on so it got bigger and bigger and what it did it was it allowed me to say to them well let's look back at the last three weeks you've done this you've done this you haven't done this and so for those students that were doing everything and were doing really well um, I was able to give them rewards for those students that were kind of like you know those kind of students that want A grades but they don't necessarily do the work it's able to kind of say well look you, you, you haven't done the optional tasks for the last four weeks why do you think you're not getting the grades and, it, and you can kind of you can kind of draw the lines from there in their own kind of evidence and i know other subjects have done things like that so so you can expand them as you go as long as you don't delete the original bits you can expand them so let, let's make one together so we're just going to hit create um, and it's a special type of page called a progress check so uh, i'll just show you what i did there because i did that quite fast you click create uh, in whichever section you want it to be. You click more templates and you click progress check. Now, this is a page rather than a task. You don't set this as a task. 
um, you you recommend the page. So what after we so I'm gonna I click progress check, I hit done, um, I'll give it a title, we'll call this test progress check. Uh, we hit done, and when I'm finished, I'm gonna use that button at the bottom that says bookmark. I'm gonna put my mouse over it, it's gonna say recommend, and I'm gonna recommend it to the class and they can go it. Now it's a normal page, so I can put my information, I can put my introduction, I can put a video in, I can put a um, a, uh, a text thing, I can insert files, you know, all the stuff I can do on a normal page, and then when I'm ready, I go to the top and I'm gonna punch the light, and then I, there's a button here that says check, add checkpoint, and then you put in the uh, thing, so I'm gonna put, um, have you read the document and watched all or, yeah, just have you read the document? There we go, and we'll hit done, and it's there with the text and a little tick box. That's it. If you want to add another one, you can put more videos in. Blah 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 blah. Um, have you watched the video tutorial? Click done. It's on. Okay. There are there are no additional options in here. Like you can't say tick this one or that one. Uh, that's a slightly different page. And then we hit publish. And, it, and it's there. So I, I as, as the user now, I can now start to tick it. Now, when your users use that, whether it's students, parents, or, or teachers, um, they must hit that save progress button. If I click this and this, don't press save progress and exit the page, it's not gonna do it. You have to click save progress, but you don't have to do it after every one. You can tick, you, you tick as many as you want and then you can click save progress. You don't have to do it after every single one, but you will get a few students that won't click, click the save button the first few times they do it. And you'll just have to kind of say, well, go do it again. Um, it's, not, it's not a long job. Um, so there you go, that's it. That's how progress checks works. They are, they are pretty cool. Um, think of the uses, think of the possibilities, make a couple, show me what you do um, and uh, go lower.